Good morning. How many nations will God judge? Today we're reading at Jeremiah 25, verses 15 through 26. And here we are. For thus says the Lord God of Israel to me, Take this wine cup of fury from my hand and cause all the nations to whom I send you to drink it. And they will drink and stagger and go mad because of the sword that I will send among them. Then I took the cup from the Lord's hand and made all the nations drink to whom the Lord had sent me. Jerusalem and the cities of Judah, its kings and its princes, to make them a desolation, an astonishment, a hissing, and a curse, as it is this day. Pharaoh, king of Egypt, his servants, his princes, and all his people, all the mixed multitude, all the kings of the land of Uz, and all the kings of the land of the, of the Philistines, namely Ashkelon, Geza, Ekron, and the remnant of Ashdod. And it goes on for about five or six more verses there with a long list. Numerous nations and kingdoms are listed here. This chapter of Jeremiah especially highlights God's control over all the nations, over everything. He's in ultimate control. All are under his moral authority. All will be judged according to his right judgment. They'll all be judged for their actions, right and wrong. God hates sin. He has a, a pure hatred of it. He's, he's violent toward it. Sin reduces everything to mere objects for self-service. Everything comes up serving a, an agenda that is imposed on them from the person. God will judge all the nations because all the nations are self-serving. No nation, no group, no, no group without the Holy Spirit in their heart will ever do anything without being self-serving in their approach. And their own agendas are always going to seem right in their own eyes. They'll always have a set of justifications that sort of work out. It looks like it makes sense to do it their way. Remember, Satan is the prince of the power of the air. That's what the Bible says. And so he knows how to lead along those who are ruling and leading in the nations so that he inculcates his principles into their approach to things. He's, he's been training at that for thousands of years. He's quite adept at it. And not everything that every nation does is wrong. I mean, like an analog clock is right at least twice a day. Nations do things sometimes that are the right things. Not everything is wrong. But without God leading the minds and hearts of those who are ruling, they cannot help but wind up pushing wrong agendas and going in the wrong direction. We have to have God. Nations are great machines for power and influence to impose on people this and impose on them that. And under the control of a majority of fallen people, things are always going to turn out less good than they should. Every nation, therefore, must fail of being ultimately a righteous nation. And you know, God permits nations to demonstrate what they are. A lot of times he just lets them have enough rope to hang themselves. So when a nation does something, it doesn't mean that it has God's endorsement, not at all. He lets nations demonstrate what they are just as he lets devils demonstrate what they are, just as he lets individuals demonstrate what we are. He cannot abide sin. And so we're all on this path to a better uh, understanding of what God's purpose for us is. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we want to be right. Lord, we pray that you will uh, be our guide. We hope that you'll guide the nations. The Bible tells us to pray for those who are in authority, basically to pray for them that they won't mess things up super duper bad. And so, Lord, we want to do that. We want to pray for them that you'll help us to live lives that are peaceful, be able to avoid violence many times of the state. I just read today how uh, a second pastor in Canada has been jailed for uh, in, inciting people to attend church. Well, Lord, I, I want to incite people to attend church. Help us to be right, Lord. Help us not to knuckle under. May your spirit be with that individual. Help us, Lord, to remember that you are the supreme king and you will judge all nations no matter what the moment seems to look like. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Go out there and incite some people to attend church. They have a wonderful day.